Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Converse and Scooby-Doo Chuck Taylor All-Star High Top Shoes. Now, um, before I get into this video and before I get to talking about these actual shoes and before we get into like, I guess this is sort of a review of the shoes, I don't know if anybody else has uploaded like a video like this. Um, also, I forgot to check before I started filming, so maybe there's already a video up about this, but I thought I'd do it anyway just because it kind of goes with the genre of my channel and I did in fact purchase them and I thought it'd be cool to do a review of them. So, um... In the last video that I uploaded, because it's been about a week or so since I've uploaded a video, um, I wrote down in the description of the video, I was like, I'm going to be um, taking a break or like a week-long break or so due to copyright concerns. And I guess, I mean, that kind of was part of it, but the main part of it was that I just couldn't find the time to make a full episode and like make the shorts for the full episode and upload them. Um, and I just, I, I needed a little bit of a break just because I was getting... Um, I wouldn't say I was getting burnt out, but I was just, I didn't, I couldn't find enough time and I was very busy doing other things and it just, it wouldn't work out. So I just thought that's okay. Just put YouTube on the back burner, burner for a little bit. Um, but here I am. It's, it hasn't been quite a week yet, so it's not doing too bad. Um, but yeah, so, um, um, I'm back now, of course, and I have this video, of course, and I have another video planned, which I'm, which I'm not sure if I'm going to upload after this video or after I upload another entire full episode. Um, speaking of, I actually have two uh, full episodes that have been requested that people want me to make um, shorts for. So those two are on their way. Um, of course, if you uh, would like to request one, um, don't be shy. Comment down below, of course. Um, I will make the video, and then, of course, uh, in the premiere of the, uh, of the episode, in the first short of it, I will, of course, say that you were the one who <clears throat> requested the episode, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so um, that's that's kind of what the what the lowdown was. That's why I didn't upload for about six days or so. So my apologies about that. But once again, there wasn't a whole lot I could do, and um, I did post on my Instagram and also made my followers aware of that. So if you're not following me already on Instagram, don't forget to follow me. There's a link in the description of every video. There's a link at my channel, or you can just type in Retro Cartoons on Instagram. And uh, it, it'll be there, of course. Um, so don't forget to go follow me um, because I post on there every day and, I've, and I just post some cool stuff on my story sometimes. Like when I got these shoes, I posted that on my story. So um, I think it's definitely worth it. And if you'd like to, um, go ahead and give me a follow there. But yeah, um, I think that's all I got to say. So I think we should get into the actual review, I guess. Um, I've never really done a shoe review, so this should be should be interesting. You guys are going to have to bear with me in case it's, uh, it's not very good. But um, we're going to see what... Um, how we can do for this and what we can do and hopefully it turns out okay so anyway um but obviously if you guys do enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button to help uh, expose this video to a broader audience if you enjoy classic scooby-doo scooby-doo classic cartoons whatever please consider hitting the subscribe button um, i typically post typically post every day unless of course i have to take a break or whatever which sometimes i have to um which is totally fine so um but i do have quite a few videos uploaded and i plan to upload quite a few more videos so please consider hitting the subscribe button and last but not least if you have co any comments questions or concerns about anything in general um comment down below and uh, i actually respond to each and every comment so i'll be getting back to you um, in a timely manner, hopefully. <laughs> um, um, I try to stay on top of the comments, but sometimes it gets a little bit challenging. With that being said, uh, I think that's all I have to say, so let's get into this review. So, <clears throat> I purchased these, uh, oh, it was about a week and a half ago. I actually, probably, probably closer to two weeks ago, and I got them about a half a week ago, um, to a week ago. I'm not sure exactly how long. It didn't take very long. Um, I, I, I know that these were sold out. In fact, all the Scooby-Doo, uh, collection, uh, from Converse was sold out, for the longest time, um, but then on July, or not, not July, excuse me, they, on June 23rd, they restocked everything, so I made sure right when they restocked everything um, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on June 23rd, I was ready to pick these up, because these were the ones that I were eyeing. Um, uh, I wasn't, I, I, you see, personally, I wasn't too big a fan of any of the other um, high tops or any of the other, like, shoes, I guess. Um, so I went with these ones, which, these ones were my favorite. It's not like I, like, Scoot, uh, sco uh, scoops scoot, went down. I don't know what I'm saying. It's not like I went down to these. Like I didn't want to get these, and I just felt like I had to get these because I didn't like any of the other ones. I actually really liked these, um, so I ended up getting these ones, of course. And they were sixty-five dollars. And I'm currently on Converse's website on my phone right now, so I'll just read you a little bit about the the shoes and kind of about the line. So these are the Converse and Scooby Doo Chuck Taylor All Stars, and these are unisex high top shoes. So of course, um, these can be wear worn by either 
either gender or whatever. I mean, they're they're not specifically tailored to males or females. Um, uh, I paid sixty-five dollars for these, which uh, wasn't. It's not too terribly bad. Um, I more so bought these as kind of a collector's item. I, I do plan to wear them sometimes, but I, I have them more so like kind of like my second theory behind buying them, or not theory, but my second reason behind buying them was that they are a collector's item because they didn't sell out very quickly. So I do plan to wear them, but I plan to keep them pretty clean and pretty nice. So, But yes, I paid $65 for these. Um, in the color section, they describe them as white, multi, and black, which makes sense. Um, they do run a half a size large. Um, I picked up a pair of 10s. Typically, I wear 10s, 10 and a halfs, and these are actually a little bit big on me. Um, so, yeah, um, but they still fit fine, so. Um, and then the description of these, um, good guys on one side, bad guys on the other, fun all around. Uh, and then, um, they go on to kind of talk about the shoes. So, uh, they start off with the gang's all here. Scooby-Doo has been a fan favorite in television and movies for generations. And now, for the very first time, Converse is bringing these delightful characters to life on a range of classic styles, including the Chuck Taylor All-Star. Good guys on one side, bad guys on the other. Fun all around. Uh, and then it kind of has some why, sh why you should be down or kind of like some reasons to purchase this shoe. And they say, uh, graphic print featuring Scooby the Gang and the Villains. Canvas upper is lightweight and durable. Ortho light insole for comfort and rubber outsole for added traction. Um, uh, on a five star rating, these have hit 4.84 stars. So pretty good. And there are 44 44 ratings, which is pretty good. So, and that's really all the information they have in there. They do have some reviews, but they're basically just, you know, they're like a sentence, like they fit well, they're nice, whatever. So, those are the shoes, and those are some information about them. And yeah, I mean, um, I, once again, I do plan to wear them sometimes, but I plan to kind of keep them a little bit nicer. And, you know, they're not like an everyday shoe for me. They'd be like just something I wear every once in a while um, when I feel like it. So, uh, but I, I plan to keep them very nice because. Um, I, for me, they're more so a collector's item than kind of like an everyday shoe that you can just beat the crap out of. So, with that being said, I've never done a shoe review, but we're going to start with the box that, that they came in, because I actually really like the box. So, um, we'll go ahead and get to that. So, hopefully I don't knock the camera down, and hopefully everything, you can see everything. So, of course you have the classic, not classic, but just the Scooby-Doo logo all together. On the front you have Converse, of course. You can notice that it has like the Mystery Machine paint scheme all over the box. If we go to the left side of the box, <clears throat> we have Converse. This is size tw 10 in men's, 12 in women's, unisex. And then it, goes, it has the UK sizes, the Europe sizes, um, and then the CM sizes. Uh, then you have your barcode right there, Converse.com, Converse.com. Once again, the back is just the same colors as the Mystery Machine is. And then on the right side, you have the Converse logo along with just kind of the color scheme of the mystery machine. So, of course, if you open it up, this is where the shoes would sit. Of course, just have the papers where they did sit. And that's about it for the box. So, we are going to take a look at the actual shoes. You know what, I am gonna keep the box back here just because I really do like the box. So, let me go like this. All right, so we're gonna start out. Actually, these shoes are different, so we do have to take a look at each one um, separately. So we're gonna take a look at the right, the right shoe first. So we're going to remove the left shoe, and we'll start off on the left side of the shoe. Actually, we'll start out on the outside, because why not? So, uh, of course, you have your standard Chuck Taylor shoe. Um, you know, you have Scooby and Shaggy, of course, and then you have Converse All-Star. Uh, you have the, it looks like the Werewolf, oh, I want to say, I can't tell if that's from a gaggle of Galloping Ghost, or if it's from, who's referred to the Big Bad, big bad Werewolf, but... Um, you do have the werewolf here. Of course, you have the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star logo, which I don't know why, but I really like how this looks on the white shoe with, like, the black and white, and then, of course, like, the villains around it. I don't know why, but I think that looks really, really nice. So that was one of the main reasons why um, I decided to get these shoes as, as opposed to some of the other ones. Then, of course, you have the Ghost Clown, and then I'm not entirely sure um, what I, I can recognize this villain, but I can't put a finger on, on what his name is. Uh, where, which episode it's from, or which incarnation of Scooby-Doo, by that matter. <laughs> um, I think it is one of the newer ones, but I'm not entirely sure. So, not sure on that one, but if you guys could let me know down in the comments, that would be fantastic. Alright, so, moving on. Um, we'll just go to the front of the shoe. Of course, you have the diamond pattern right here, which you can't see because it's out of focus, but I will focus it real quick. So, there you go. 
Um, very nice tread on the front, of course. And then one of my favorite parts about the shoe is how you have the Scooby-Doo medallion there, um, which is, of course, or sorry, like the SD, like uh, Scooby wears in his collar, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to try to take a look at inside of the shoe. I really don't want to pick the camera up, but if I have to, I will. So we'll take the tongue out here on the front. I'm going to have to angle the camera a little bit further up. Not a whole lot, so bear with me here, guys. Like I said, I'm not, I'm sort of new to doing shoe reviews. So you have Scooby-Doo up there, and then if you look on the other side, you have, oh, you cannot see that. All right, what's the best way to do this? Eh, we might have to pick the camera up. All right, so and then you have Rut Row right here. Let me focus that, um, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, you have the actual, oh, it looks like it goes like this. So down right there. If you look inside the shoe, you have Scooby-Doo Converse. Then, of course, you have the Converse logo, as it looks like. Yep, and then, so yeah, so that's it for the, um, what was that, the right shoe? I think we just took a look at the right shoe. Yes, so that that is it for the right shoe. So we're just going to set this back here, keep them out of the way, and we'll start with the left shoe, of course, um, starting off with the outside of the shoe. Now, um, <clears throat> these shoes are actually different. Like, the, the designs on them are different. Like, if you compare Scooby and Shaggy on this one, obviously, it's totally different from over here. And personally, I kind of like this side more. I kind of like the left shoe more. Um, this design right here, more than I like the right shoe. Um, but I still like them both, of course. Um, actually, I didn't show you the tread on the right shoe, but I'll show you on the left shoe, because obviously the tread's going to be the same on the bottom of the shoe, of course. So, there you have um, Shoe <laughs> Shoeby and Shaggy. Oh my goodness. Scooby and Shaggy right there. Uh, and then we'll go to the... Well, actually, we'll go to the back of the shoe. I may have to set this up here, because... Yes, so if we go to the back of the shoe, and of course I have to angle the camera down. Man, I'm not, I'm not used to working the camera like this before. This isn't... This isn't my forte. Uh, of course, we have the Converse All-Star logo. Or not logo, but kind of like, I guess it would be a logo on the back of the shoe. And then we go to the inside of the shoe, which you guys can only see half of. Once again, I am kind of new to angling the camera around and moving the camera around like that, but that is okay. All right, so, and then you have um, Frankenstein, which I know for a fact that is from um, A Gaggle of Galloping Ghosts. And once again on this shoe, we have a villain that I can, that I, I do recognize this. I can't put a I can't put a name or a episode or an incarnation on it, but I feel like it, I, I feel like it's from um, Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo, either that or from maybe the Scooby Doo show. But I can't I can't put a great finger on that one. But um, once again, if you guys know for sure, don't forget to comment down below in the comment section because that would be great for you guys to fill me in on that. Then of course we have the Green Ghost um, off of a, uh, a Night of Fright is of, uh, excuse me a Night of Fright is no delight. Then of course we have the Converse logo Chuck Taylor All Star right there. And then if we go to the front of the shoe, of course we have the diamond um, uh, tread right there. But I'm not going to show you guys that again. Uh, Scooby Doo right there, of course. Let me give that a focus. And then on the inside of the shoe, which I struggled so hard to show you guys the first time, it is the exact same thing. You have Scooby Doo on the outside of the tongue, Rut Row on the inside of the tongue. Then of course, in the on the inside of the shoe, you have Scooby Doo Converse with the Converse logo. So those are the shoes. Now um, you, you may be wondering, uh, you should show us um, what they look like when they're on you, which of course I will because that would not be a proper shoe review if I showed you guys what it looked like um, when they're just sitting here and not what they look like when they're on me. So if I got the camera to focus. So yeah, I'm going to go, and I'm going to put these guys on, and oh my goodness, why are we blurry? Come on, camera, figure it out. No, but I'm going to be talking. So yeah, I'm going to put these on, and I'm going to head outside, and we're going to take a look at what these look like on, and um, kind of how like the shoe kind of fits, which they are very comfortable, I must say. Actually, I forgot to show you guys the tread. There's the tread on the bottom. Very nice. It'll get a lot of traction. Um, there is Converse All-Star written right there. It's sort of dark, and you can't really see... Maybe you can now. But yeah, it has a good tread, so I actually totally forgot to show you guys that. But there's that. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to put these on, and I'm going to head outside, and you guys can take a look at how these fit. And um, I probably won't say anything during that. I'll just kind of be silent. Uh, hopefully there's some birds and some wind, and we can hear some sounds of nature. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go take care of that. But uh, that'll probably be, the last, um, probably be the last scene in this video. So uh, I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this video. If you guys did, 
Don't forget to hit the, to hit the like button to help expose this video to a broader audience. Of course, if you enjoy classic Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, classic cartoons, whatever, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I make daily videos, unless I'm taking a break, which I was before this video, but that's okay, we all need breaks sometimes. Lastly, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, comment them down below. I respond to each and every comment in, in a timely manner, and I love um, connecting with my audience and my viewers. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Um, let's head outside to take a look at these shoes and what they look like on me, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, whatever they that yeah, whatever that might be.